Hi everyone, it's me Betty Confetti and today I want to talk about a woman named Tyler Nicole Gerard. Uh, she passed away in a car crash and when she, her body was sent to be cremated, the crematory actually shared details about her cremation and that upset the family. So let's get into it. It says here on Opera News, a tragic car crash became even more traumatic for family members of Tyler Nicole Gerard. According to the report, a crematory worker has been fired after leaking information about the woman's cremation. As we reported, Louisiana State Police Troop spokesman Trooper Thomas goes and says that the 27-year-old Tyler Nicole Gerard of Bro Bridge failed to stop at a stop sign on Burke Road. And then it says Gerard's car was hit in the door area by a pickup truck. Her vehicle, her vehicle crossed the median on Louisiana Highway 167 and hit a shed on a private property. The father of Tyler, Doug Gerard, says it came to light that a crematory worker sent text messages to her husband, giving Tyler's information to him. The man then went on social media to discuss it. Reports that the crematory worker husband wrote, what other odds my wife is cremating Tyler? Weird small world, unquote. Doug Gerard filed a complaint with the Louisiana State Board of Embalmers. At first, the woman was reprimanded in writing. An investigation followed. The president of the Lafayette Crematory, Justin Lee, says she's a former employee and nothing else can be elaborated on. Tyler Gerard, the twin sister of Tyler Gerard, I'm sorry, Taylor Gerard, the twin sister of Tyler Gerard, contacted one of our stations to explain exactly why they want this information to be told public. And she says, we brought the story to the news to make people aware of the unethical actions that went on in this local business. These business deal, these businesses deal with very sensitive situations and deaths should not be taken lightly. In addition to dealing with the death of his daughter, Gerard had, has to deal with the violation of her information being shared on social media. He had the following to say about this whole ordeal, and I quote, I will never live without knowing the truth, the sickness of this woman, and it's so hard to say what else I want done because I am not an evil person, and just people are sick and they do things. The biggest message is just to try to deal with things as best as you can. You try to grieve, and I hope that this would really never happen to anyone else and that's the end of that i really don't think that that crematory worker should have shared the details of this woman's cremation on her social media cremation burial um whatever you do as far as um what cremate getting rid of the dead body or transition them transitioning them onto the next phase of life should be private now if the family wanted to share those details and she got the permission that's one thing but to just do it because you think she's dead and it's okay that's not cool um I'm actually glad that the family's starting to um, try to take some legal action because that should be illegal. Why are you sharing something like that about that woman? Like, let her rest in peace. I, it's just, it, it kind of makes me think like everyone's trying to go viral for something. And it's like, you're doing that at the expense of others. So in other words, you're exploiting the dead. And that is just completely, it's just stupid. Like just, if you want to do something like that, I think that maybe even, if they don't ask the family straight out, maybe when they're filling out documentations, they can place like, hey, would you mind that we use this person in a video to uh, for educational purposes or something along the lines of that. But no, she didn't do that. She just did what she wanted to do. And now she's suffering the consequences for it, rightfully so. You shouldn't take advantage of someone's situation, whether they're alive or dead. In this case, this young lady is dead. Rest in peace to her. Um, the family, I just feel bad for them because like what else could they really do? And it seems like, I don't know, I guess maybe it might be how I took the tone of the article, but I feel like they're not, when I say they, I feel like the police and maybe even the people he called about the, the crematory worker, I don't feel like they're taking it as seriously as they could. And it makes me wonder like, do, do they not usually take things like that seriously when someone violates a dead person's, you know, their rights, I guess, because I feel like dead people do have rights. I could be wrong. I would hope that they did so people couldn't desecrate their body, their grave, or in this case, their um, cremation or their cremains. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Um, 
So hopefully if something happens to that lady for being a scumbag and also just being someone who doesn't, who's inconsiderate. You're very inconsiderate to think that you can film someone's loved one without consequence, especially at a, a vulnerable time like that when someone dies. Like for example, one of my, someone I cared about dearly had just died. And I'm thinking to myself, if someone would have shared the details of his cremation, I would flip shit myself. Like, would you be gonna show his naked body? Are you gonna show um, them being put into the box? And honestly, I could see another reason why I think the family would be upset because I'm placing myself into their shoes is that think about it you might not want to see them go into the incinerator or the process of them going in there like I know they have some videos on YouTube where they'll show the process of cremation and even then I wonder to myself did they ask the families is that okay they'll just show the person in the cremation um, chamber and then they'll show like an image of the bones being burnt and then they'll show them like um, I'm just gonna say chopping it up and then they'll show it, them scraping it. But I'd still wonder to myself, do people like that, like the cremate, the cre people at the crematory, do they ask permission? I just think like in this case, this lady got caught and maybe in other instances they didn't. But anyway, I think this is wrong. That lady should be charged. I, my condolences to the family and rest in peace to the young lady. Y'all stay tuned for n more crazy news, like something like things like this. Sorry, I got tongue tied. Sometimes I do that, y'all get tongue tied. But anyway, please stay tuned for more crazy news like this. You got to subscribe, hit that subscribe button because you do not want to miss what other crazy news I report. <laughs> I'm Betty Confetti. I'm signing off. Bye.